What's up guys, Eric Vasquez here from teachmetodesign.com and today I'm going to show you a few quick and easy ways that you can add some cool stylish duotone effects to your images in Photoshop. Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a cool uh, kind of duotone effect in Photoshop. So grab your image and then all you're going to do is make a copy of it by pressing Command J on the keyboard and then come down here to the adjustment layers icon and choose gradient map. Now gradient maps are great because it will quickly you know give you the ability to add color to an image um, that you can come back and edit. You know so nothing's permanent it's what you would call you know non-destructive type of editing. And the great thing about it is um, that you can come in here Let's say we want to have, you know, uh, like a duotone kind of effect, like I mentioned. You would that would just refer to, you know, two colors like this. Um, but if you want, you know, you can come in and add additional colors, right? And depending on where they are, kind of on the scale, um, you'll be able to get different results. So while this looks a little bit more like a like a photo negative. Um, you know, putting the, the lighter colors towards the right will look a little bit more like a, uh, well, I, don't, I wouldn't call it a normal photo, but, you know, normal coloring. Um, but that's cool, too, because if you do decide that you want to, uh, you know, have more of a negative effect, you don't necessarily have to do it here. You can also come in and just kind of put this in, uh, in reverse, right, which you can do right here. Okay, so that's, you know, kind of a cool, quick way to do a duo tone. But you also have the ability to um, do a gradient map, and I'm just going to select this one again, and then you can change the blending mode of it, which I'm doing quickly by holding down the shift key and hitting plus or minus on the keyboard to scroll through these. So, you know, screen is kind of a cool, uh, cool effect, and it still, you know, shows you some of the original color underneath. Um, but using shortcuts like this is a great way. Uh, to uh, save time so you're not, you know, going through and individually turning uh, the blending modes on and off for, for different layers. Um, but screen was pretty nice. I'm going to leave that on there. And you can even, you know, layer these up. You know, you can make a, make a copy of it and then see what that looks like with a different type of blending mode. Or even, you know, mixing the colors a bit. So, you know, if you put that one in reverse, above or below the other one, you can get all kinds of, you know, dif different effects. You know, the possibilities are, are really, you know, endless with this kind of thing. So you just have to kind of go in there and, and play around a little bit with it and kind of see what happens. I mean, I love experimenting with, you know, different color palettes and things like that. So this can be a really cool way um, to do that. But again, even with the two, only two colors, you can you know, move the sliders in towards the middle and you'll get a little bit more of, of one color than the other. Um, but generally it works best by having, you know, one bright color and one dark color. All right, but you see I have, you know, two on top of each other right now. So that's how I'm really getting that effect, um, which is pretty cool. Another way that you can come in here really quick and change the colors of it is just by adding another adjustment layer, uh, this time a hue and saturation. And then you can move that slider around really you know, easily too. So those are just a few, you know, quick ways that you can add some cool uh, color overlays and effects using gradient maps in Photoshop. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if you are looking for a more in-depth starter guide, uh, be sure to sign up for our email list, and you will get our free ebook, Essential Photoshop Tutorials, a starter guide sent right to your inbox. And uh, of course, if you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and be sure to let us know how we can help you design better.